In progress. Welcome to Friday Night Notes. And we give a few notices. This is from the Ruthven Pastoral Charge. There's two congregations, Olinda Ruthven United Church and Trinity United Church, New California. Both are in Kingsville, Ontario. We have a website, www.ruthvenpc.com. That's not Ruthven Progressive Conservatives, it's Ruthven Pastoral Charge PC. The YouTube, you are watching it, uh, this on the Ruthven Pastoral Charge uh, channel. And these are our copyright license and streaming license. This Sunday, it's the last joint worship service for the summer. It's at 10 o'clock, and it's with both congregations and anybody else who wishes to join us for the worship service. It's at Trinity United Church, New California, the corner of the 2nd and McCain side road. Everyone is welcome. And the following Sunday, Sunday, September the 10th, our regular services resume. But this Sunday is the last Sunday at 10 o'clock, the last summer service. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. All righty. Now, these are our readings for this Sunday. But before I get into the readings, I'll just stop the share. There we go. Yeah. We have uh, our weekly newsletter. It's uh, emailed out to you and it's got all the notices and things that are happening on the pastoral charge uh, birthdays, anniversaries, root pies are sold at Trinity. And then coming in September, there are meat pies from Olinda Ruthven. And uh, those are all detailed in the weekly newsletter. And if you don't get it, please contact the church office. Uh, and you can go to the, our website uh, or you can go back earlier on in this YouTube and get the address and information to uh, contact uh, us and to get on to the weekly newsletter. Ah, but now we have our scripture reading. So I will switch to, oh, by the way, uh, the backdrop. <laughs> is it's a reminder that uh, school is starting. And uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I always get the urge in September to get pencils and pens and books and uh, papers and that. I don't know. I think it must be uh, in the air. But uh, that is why the backdrop. And, and a little bit later, in the new notes, we'll be reflecting on the return to school. But now we look at our scripture readings. I'll just get this set here. Our first reading is from Exodus. And this is the one with Moses and the burning bush. It is um, a most interesting passage. People get stuck on the burning bush, but they don't see in Exodus 3 how Moses hesitates. God's calling him. But he's giving excuses, and uh, but he eventually agrees and answers God's call, and uh, it, it is uh, 
wonderful passage, a key passage in uh, in scripture and a key passage where God, where we see God calling us to various tasks. And here he is calling Moses to a most important task, to free the people who are slaves in Egypt under a cruel Pharaoh. And God, and God is responding to their cries and answering through Moses. Then our next uh, reading, it's a responsive on Sunday, but it's Psalm 105, 105. And this is a key psalm in the Bible. And it reminds us to give glory to God. I'm reading from the New Living uh, Translation, the first part, verses 1 to 4, 105 verses 1 to 4. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him, yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his wonderful deeds. Exult in his holy name. Rejoice, you who worship the Lord. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek him. And verse 5, remember the wonders he has performed, his miracles and the rulings he has given. Given you his the children of his servant Abraham, you descendants of Jacob, his chosen ones. 105 calls us to give thanks to the Lord and to proclaim his greatness. How often we forget to give God thanks and to proclaim his greatness. We need to give thanks to God. And as the psalmist says, let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his wonderful deeds. And the, the rest of the psalm goes into uh, his deeds and what God has done and how God responds to people. The God isn't one who sits back watching God is involved in the world and in life. If we don't think so, look at what he has done. And verse 4, search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek him. When you're feeling beaten up by life or tired, search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. Seek him and get strength for your battles and your struggles. Remembering that the Lord is caring and loving and has acted and is acting. And now we have a wonderful um song, I think, to share with you about, this is a song, Psalm 105, Give Thanks.
And our second reading on Sunday is from Romans. It will be from Romans chapter 12, reading verses 9 to 21. This is, as I've been saying before, this is Paul's letter to the congregation that is in Rome. And he's hoping to visit them, and he's giving them some guidance. And it is a delightful passage on Sunday. And our Sunday readings are from the message version of the scripture, and it adds a little bit of zest or spice uh, to the readings. I will read Romans 12, 9 to 21 for you, and you'll hear it again on Sunday. Love from the center of who you are. Don't fake it. Run for dear life from evil. Hold on for dear life to good. Be good friends who love deeply. Practice playing second fiddle. Don't burn out. Keep yourselves fueled and aflame. Be alert servants of the master, cheerfully expectant. Don't quit in hard times. Pray all the harder. Help needy Christians. Be inventive in hospitality. Bless your enemies. No cursing under your breath. Laugh with your happy friends when they're happy. Share tears when they're down. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. Don't hit back. Discover beauty in everyone. If you've got it in you, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. I'll take care of it. Our scriptures tell us that if you see your enemy hungry, Go buy that person lunch. Or if he's thirsty, get him a drink. Your generosity will surprise him with goodness. Don't let evil get the best of you. Get the best of evil by doing good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our gospel reading on Sunday is Matthew 16, 21 to 28. I'll be reflecting more on that on Sunday because that it will be the basis of uh, the sermon. It will be on taking up your cross. Uh, the title of the sermon is Get Moving, and I'll explain it on Sunday. Well, now, since this is uh, the weekend before school starts, I've got a closing video about school. And uh, that, so we'll just get to that. There we go. Thank you, God, for the gift of education for our children's desire to learn and grow, for friends who have similar interests, but who challenge them in new ways too. We pray their educators are inspired and energized every day by their calling. We pray this year would be led by you. Each day they would step through the door you open, keep them safely protected, and may you bless them with opportunities to be a light to others as they learn more about you. We ask for wisdom and strength to raise them up in the purpose and plan you have for them and the truth of your word. Amen. Well, have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Many blessings to you. And these blue jays that you see in the picture, I took this picture oh, a couple of years ago 
at uh, my sister's cottage, uh, sit and watch how the Blue Jays come. Uh, there was only uh, six, seven of them. I counted up to 14 at one time, but um, it's, how shall I say, it's, I like uh, the birds and that. But anyhow, I distract. Have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Many blessings to you. God bless. This concludes the Friday night uh, notes.